All right, hello and welcome. I'm here to teach you how to set up the new TSM V4, which just got released a couple of days ago. This is, um, today is August 1st, so it was released a couple of days ago, I believe like July 29th. Um, yeah, I'm just here to update my guide on how to set up TSM. So first things first, if you haven't set it up yet, you wanna head to your Twitch app where you download your add-ons and you want to go to get more add-ons and you want to search for trade skill master and the only two you will need is the base add-on trade skill master and trade skill master app helper with TSM v4 they have integrated all these other trade skill masters into the simple trade skill master add-on so there's no need to get any of this uh, next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and head to your browser and you're going to head to tradeskillmaster.com and you're going to want to install TSM and you're going to want to download the Tradeskillmaster app for Windows or OS or whatever you're using and you're going to want to head and boot that up. So go ahead and boot that up. After you download it, you're going to want to make an account. Um, and while you're still on the web page, you can actually, when you make your account, go to App Configuration and Realm Selection. And you're going to want to go ahead and add whatever realms that you play on that you want to import the data from. Um, you can have 10 if you're a free user. Otherwise, down here, it would let you choose a realm and you could add it. But I already have 10 realms, so I can't add it anymore. Um, yeah, you can remove realms here, add realms. And that's all about you need to do here. Next, you're going to head to your TSM app. This is the Trade Skill Master app. As you can see here, it'll tell you realm data is when it was last updated. You've got the add on version right now, it's TSM v4. I actually need to go ahead and update this, but it's not a big deal. And um, it actually backs up. I believe every time you start WoW or you switch characters, something like that, all your settings. So if you ever it it saves your settings so you can load it back if you need to and that's not only your settings but your groups and everything and I'm not sure about account any export but yep you can also get to the realm list by going here settings and then set up realms and it'll take you straight to this screen you will have to sign into your account if you're not so whenever you start World of Warcraft you want to have this application opened and so when you get into game you're going to want to type in slash TSM. And here we are. This is the new screen layout for TSM. We're going to go ahead and pop over to settings. And the first thing you can do is customize your tooltip settings. I don't have any. So we'll go ahead and pull this over here. So you can see here the TSM Trade Skill Master info shows you the vendor sale price, you know, what characters have this item and then the TSM auction DB values, market value, region market value, sale average, sale rate, and average daily sold. So in tooltip settings you can go ahead and change that. Um, I don't really care about vendor prices as well as I believe the group name is I'm not sure what the group name does. Yeah, you can disable the vendor buy and sell prices Buy price could be useful, but if you have common knowledge of the game, you'll know most things that can be bought from a vendor or not. Um, hit the value resources. Market value is very good for commonly traded items such as resources or basically just resources, you know, enchants, herbs, or leatherworking stuff. That's all market value is really useful for. Um, Region market value is good for kind of niche items, maybe mounts, uh, transmog, uh, high level pieces of gear that have varying item level because each item level is its own unique item. So if you have like, I don't know what item level stuff is now, but let's say there's an item level that has item level 200 base, but then you can get Warforged 205, 210, 215, and then you can get Titan Forge 220, 225, 230. Each one of those item levels, along with sockets, 
is its own unique item and would have its own unique price. So that can make market value as well as region market value very um, easily to be manipulated. So you have to kind of use common knowledge on that, take a look at other items, see you know how much value extra item level adds to them and figure it out for yourself. But um, region market value average good, market value is good. Min buyout, um, I usually turn that off. Um, and sale average, this is also not very confirmed because it's, you know, people who buy stuff with the app open, I believe. It records how much they buy for, but most people who are using TSM before know not to overpay for stuff. So people who aren't using it might be people who pay for stuff more. So it's not a very good show for how much something is worth. And um, the region sale rate sold per day. This kind of tells you how often that item is traded. So if we take something, look at like the Warren Dagger point zero two, it's like very, basically never traded. But if we go to something like, um, I don't know what the new herbs are called, Arcana. That's the enchanting stuff. Two hundred sixty nine point one six per day. So as you can see here. A lot is sold every day of this, whereas this, nothing, it's barely ever sold. I don't know what some other good ones are. Let's take a look. Imperium, that's another good one. See, almost 4,000 per day. And this is the region average. It's not just server average. That's another thing to keep in mind. All right, let's head back to the TSM map. So you can go through your tooltip settings, you know, figure out what you want. Um, I like the sale per day. I don't really like the sale rate. So you kind of minimize how much stuff shows up on every item you hover over. So I've got the market value, the region market value average, and the average daily sold, as well as what characters have this item or not. Um, accounting, auctioning, I don't really mess with any of this stuff. And this is all those other applications I've never used before. So let's head over to Shopping and Sniper. Uh, this is what your Sniper is going to, your Shopping and your Sniper, the percent values when you search something on them. That's this price right here. So if we go to Shopping and we search for something, let's search for just Arcana, whatever. So this percent value is based off of whatever. So we put DB market. So if we see here, the market value of this is 14 gold and 16 silver, 15 copper. So if the market value is 100%, this price is 102% of market value, which is a good um, showing for commonly traded materials like Arcana. But if you're somebody who likes to buy battle pets or, um, perhaps mounts and transmog this isn't going to be very relevant because if somebody has one of a transmog whatever price he puts that transmog for that's going to be the market value so if i get this if I, like this crappy dagger you get from making a rogue if i put this on there for 5000 gold that's the market value of this dagger because there's only one dagger and it's 5000 gold Let's see if there's any even on here no there's not but the regional market value which is still way above would be all the servers combined how much is it so it just depends on what you're using the market for mostly and you're just gonna have to keep that in mind um, since I mainly deal in transmog I will keep mine at a DB region historical which is basically it's like the region um, what do they call it the region market value average except for it includes more data from the past so region market value average is the current value across all servers at that time whereas a DB region historical is the average value I think it's the past seven days across all servers maybe a month I'm not exactly sure um, and then you can change your uh, sniper auction sound I like the fish reeling in but um they haven't implemented a way yet to limit what percentage you see so on the old TSM 
you could say I only want to see items that are below 20% of whatever market market value price source. They haven't implemented that yet, but expect that to come be coming in soon. Unless it's in the app. Um, I don't believe it is, yeah. You can just run buyout or bit sniper. I don't really know what the two is between these two, but um let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say about settings. Oh, macros are really good. Um, you can use these macros. You can choose which scroll wheel direction and then what modifier. I just use control. And so if you hold down control and scroll, you can use it to like mass cancel options. You can use it to mass buy out a bunch of stuff. Um, I like to use mine for... Uh, posting using the sniper buyout uh, canceling if I need to cancel and relist for whatever reason and also shopping to buy stuff so and then you just click create macro and now it's as easy as holding down control and spamming your scroll wheel and I believe that's it you can do other stuff like set up easy mailing so you can mass mail stuff um, I don't know Destroying is like disenchanting, uh, auctioning. I never really messed with this before. So all that other stuff you can look into if you want to, but it's nothing I use. They added this ledger, which is very cool. So you can use, you can see your revenue of stuff. Like I've vendored all this crap that I got from leveling. Um, I believe it'll also show items you traded with the other players as well as stuff you sold on the auction house. Um, and this is also really cool resale. If you buy something and then you sell it back to the auction house, you can see how much you resold it for. Um, expenses of stuff you bought and the failed auctions. You can keep track of what you had stuff priced before. So this is very cool ledger. Um, hopefully it's not going to take up too much memory. And yeah, everything is basically the same. You can import, export groups. So if you have groups from TSM3, you can copy those over to here but um groups and operations is the same thing so let's add a group for transmog right and then where's my dagger we're gonna add this dagger to this group let's name this transmog and then we're gonna head over here to operations and we are going to make a auctioning operation so we'll call this transmog as well so you don't have to worry about any of this you can blacklist people I don't know why you would I mean if you really hate somebody on your server you can do that <laughs> um, go to posting I usually set mine up for 48 hours I don't like to constantly post stuff if I'm just starting out I'll do 24 hours but when you get to like 100 200 500 items it's a pain in the ass to list it and I don't want to list it every day so I usually put it on 48 but I'll start to 24 um, usually if you're dealing with transmog which is what this is for you don't even though you may hold like five of the same transmog you don't want to post all five because people might see that and see that there's like a surplus of items so I usually set my post cap to two for transmog um, stack size is always one parcel stacks don't matter for this um, if you want to keep one you would do that you know I usually set bid percentage to 90% because some people do like the bid and undercut by one silver there's an undercut algorithm I have before but I don't really mind it um, as for my prices um, I'm not really too sure about this, but I usually just set my minimum to 70% of DB region historical. And then maximum price would just be, you know, variations of this. So we'll do 70% DB region historical, 120 would be max, and 100 would be that. Now, if I wanted to move product faster, you can always change this. You can always, you know, if you're buying stuff for 10% of the region historical and then selling it for 50%, you know, you're still making five times profit. So we can set our max price. We can leave that. That's fine. 
and we can set this to just like 80%. So you can mess around with that. If it's below minimum, I usually just set it at the normal price. Hopefully when the person who has their price too low that, you know, it's not worth undercutting them, at, but at the same time, it's not worth buying them. Usually if you post at normal price, maybe when they relist it, they'll list it below you. That way you can undercut them later. And if it's above maximum price, you want to post it at the maximum price because usually if it's above that, it might not sell. And if you can sell it for 120%, you're still profiting quite a bit. And yeah, that's how I set up my transmog. So after you finish this auctioning group, what you want to go do is you want to go to um, groups, transmog, group operations. Now, this is a little weird. All you have to do is click override parent operations and you would add transmog to it. There you go, you're all done. You can head here, you can go to auctioning, click on your transmog group, post scan. There you go, you can post your dagger for, you know, I believe it's set to normal prices, 80% of regional market value. So that's about 80%. And there you go. Um, so that's for transmog. If you head here to, we can do another group, which is mats. So stuff like uh, resources, you know, herbs, or go to operations. We'll add another one. We'll create a mats as well. And now this one, 24 hours, 48 hours, same thing. Post cap, you know, however many stacks. If you're dealing with a lot of stacks, you can just go ahead and put 200 stacks. Um, stack size you know whatever the max stack size is I usually just do 200 because it's nice and you want to allow partial stacks so you don't have like excess so if you have like 2011 herbs you know I just let it post it all that's fine by me if you want to keep full stacks it's up to you and if you want to keep stuff you can set all that same thing here 90% bid one silver undercut and this is whatever you want to do. For mats, I usually do um, market value. So I don't usually want it to go too below DB, like the market value. So the minimum might be 80% DB market and maximum, you know, 150% DB market. I'm okay if it goes over, that's fine. You know, usually people have to buy this stuff no matter what normal price would be just a hundred percent DB market yep when below minimum post at normal when above maximum post at max and that's as simple as that come back over here to groups click on mats group operations override select mats and you're done it's as simple as that so if you have any uh, questions or suggestions just go ahead and leave it in the comments and i hope this helped